Hey everyone, this is Dave coming at you with yet another tutorial, and today we're going to talk about posing your zebra sculpt almost automatically, well, pretty much automatically, after you've uh, finished your A pose or your T pose and you're ready to either do a product shot or get it into the final pose for the final bit of modeling. So here I've got uh, a sample model. This is a sample file from Pixel Logic, and if you'll notice, it's a bunch of subtools. And what we want to do is, you know, give it an interesting pose and then either do some product shots or continue modeling it in that pose. So, so how do we do that? Uh, the first thing we need to do is save this model out in an FBX format, which will allow us to keep track of all of its various pieces. And then we're going to send it to an auto rigger. We're going to send it to Mixamo actually. And then what we want to do is switch to Blender. And we're going to pull in this same file. And this will take a moment to mix ago. That's the file we just saved. And what we're going to do is save this out in yet another file for sending to Mixamo, really. All right, so we've saved our file out of Blender and we're going to upload it to Mixamo here. Okay, so Mixamo is now doing its auto rigging. So that orientation looks pretty proper. And what they have you do is set some markers here on the model. So yeah, so you essentially place these markers using the handy view that they have here. We'll go ahead and click on next. Okay, and you will notice that the auto rigger has done a pretty great job of rigging this character. So what we want to do now is download it. And I'm just going to click on download. And we want the T-pose and call it T-pose. Okay, so we're going to load up this FBX from that we just got from Mixamo. And it was this number two guy. And I'm going to increase the scale because I think we got a, a little bit of a scale issue. So, okay, so this is pretty exciting. So we now have our rigged model and it has a ton of polygons. So everything is looking, looking pretty good. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick pose here. So the first thing to do is click on automatic keyframing so it does not remove your pose information as you're making it. We're going to switch to rotation mode. So we're going to switch to pose mode and then rotation. And then we're going to set this to local, which will make our rotations effectively in bone space. And as you can see, you know, Mixamo, oh, there's one other thing we're going to do. Blender can be a little bit slow when it's adjusting poses with textures on for reasons unknown. All right, so when you're happy with the pose, let's say we've got this post here, we wanna write this out as an FBX with this pose sort of baked in. And as you can see, you know, this is the original version. This is our pose guy. If we click on pose one more time, this will switch to object mode. And then we can select all of our objects, which used to be our subtools. And then we go to object, convert to uh, mesh from curve mesh surf test, whatever that option is. And effectively it applies all of the armature modifiers at once and we now have something we can write out. So if we go back to armature and pose, you'll notice that all we have left is this particular post version. And we still have all of our texture information. So let's write this out as something we can bring back into ZBrush. I'm just gonna write this here. So here we are in ZBrush with our original unposed version and we're going to go to Z plugin and import and we're going to load up this FBX we just wrote out out of Blender and ZBrush is going to do its import thing and Viola it is written here we have our posed version 
that we can now continue on. And if you notice over here, we still have all of our subtools. So uh, yeah, so there you go. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.